Ah, the loaded Tibrays. Probably one of the most deceptive pieces of equipment and exercise. And every time I throw this on someone's feet, they're like, oh, no big deal, piece of cake. And then we go, okay, let's slow this down. So I allow my legs to relax. I'm fully open, my toes are pointing forward. I come up, I squeeze, I give it a hold. When I do my tib raises, I'm trying to go at this tempo. I'm trying to get my toes up to my face and then relax. And then all of a sudden, at about 14, uh, it just won't go anymore. Being able to really isolate this anterior tip, super valuable. So you can theoretically hop into this anytime. The buy-in is just being able to do 25 on the wall at two shoe lengths. And the only reason why I have that in play is because I want you to have, again, some good foundation before you start being tempted to load it up. So the standard for this would be to eventually have 30% of your body weight on this tip bar, which represents you are as heavy as you are, your tibs are as strong as they are, and the muscles here should be able to support the mass that you have. This is fantastic, once again, for focusing in on all of those decelerating muscles. Hugely beneficial for bad ankles, as you might expect. Bad knees, bad low back. It's great for a ton of things. 